Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am so excited. Uh, McCall's just announced that they uh, launched their early spring collection. And so I ran right over here, got my computer fired up, and we are gonna do a first impression. So without further ado, let us jump right in. Although I guess you click here. Okay. Oh my God. I'm already so excited. I don't really know what this is about, but I'm hoping I'm in the right place. I think I am. First up, we have a top and dress pattern. Super cute fabric on the um, sample. Um, it looks like it is a button front, no collar, a little bit of forward shoulder, maybe even a bit of a drop shoulder, and then some contrasting. You can see the stripes are going in different directions on the uh, hem of the sleeve and the skirt. Um, cinched in at the waist with some pleats, it looks like. I love that. Super cute top. Here is an illustration of the dress, of course. Love it in gingham, especially whenever you turn this on the bias. So cute. Oh, they even have a version with a little necktie. This is adorable. I love this. And then there's the back. You have a back yoke. And then it looks like the sash might even be sewn down, maybe. Kind of like a wide kimono type sleeves. You can't really see that from this version, from this uh, picture here, but yeah, I really like this. Off to a good start. Um, with separate front band. I don't know what that means. Button front closure with separate front band. I don't know what that means. Double front and back yokes. Stitched pleat detail at waist, which I think is my favorite part. Like I wouldn't belt it. I would want to leave that so you could see. Um, cute. Here are uh, illustrations. I love it. I would make all of those versions actually. I'm sure they're recommending, yeah, poplin, gingham, uh, cotton blends. You could also make sateen. I think you'd also use some of these chalets or even like a rayon poplin or something like that would also be nice. Great. Here's our next pattern. We have a tunic and dress. Now this looks asymmetrical. Okay, so we've got this like band that goes like diagonally from your knee up to your like center front and around your neck. And then these kind of like dramatic sleeves and then some kind of like, I guess darting going on here, side slit on the hem, curved hem. All those details. I mean, that is asymmetrical, right? Oh yeah, fitted tunic and dress have asymmetrical button front opening. Now I get a little bit leery of this because sometimes you can't tell that this is intentional and it looks like your dress is twisted. <laughs> you know, it can look sloppy um, if you don't do it in the right fabrics. You know what I mean? Like it can just look unintentional, which isn't always a great look. Um, here's the back. So we have a yoke and then maybe a pleat right there. Hmm. Ooh, fisheye darts in the back. Yay, yay, yay. So happy. I've seen that a couple of times now in these later releases and I feel like maybe someone's watching my videos. <laughs> <laughs> are any of the technical designers watching my videos I don't know but um yeah I don't know I'm on the fence about this it isn't I guess it isn't dramatic enough and it looks like a mistake you know like it does look like her skirts just twisted doesn't it yeah maybe the stripes too maybe that isn't helping because the stripes, well, I mean, they are kind of going down from here. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe in a solid, it would look more intentional. Okay, here's a cute little number. 
So yeah, I mean, I definitely think this is an interesting design. You know, it's not like, you know, everything else that we, that we see. And I mean, like I said, you know, it's going to be comfortable. So they're recommending poplin, lawn, linen, and stable knits even. But I really think you could make this out of just about anything. I mean, you do want it to be a little bit drapey. Um, there are some rayon linens out there that would be a dream in this. But, um, but yeah, I think my, I don't know about the sleeves. I think I like the ones without the sleeves. Um, this one, obviously it still has the collar. I think that that's nice. Um, so yeah, that's cute. All right. See a crop top. <laughs> Mrs. Tops and dresses. So Okay, we have got a kind of like a high waist band here. Don't y'all think that this is like empire waist? Um, some pleating here, like looks like a lot of pleating. I don't know, this fabric is incredibly hard to see what's going on. We definitely have a circle skirt because you can tell the stripes are cut on the diagonal here, which usually happens with a circle skirt or maybe they are bias cut, I don't know. Um, here's the crop top. <laughs> here's a really cute top version I love that um, I do like to note yeah look how um, flattering the wrap is it doesn't come too low that's a very conservative wrap which is nice oh god um, here it is with piping that's fun and then like contrasting maybe even bias tape or something like that orange and blue dots though are making me dizzy um so far, I think I like it. I need to see the line drawings, though, to tell what's going on. They used a lot of um, patterns there. So it looks like gathers on the forward shoulder and gathers under the bust and center back gathers. That's cute. And then this really wide but high waistband. And then you can add this little peplum if you want and a bow. Not all these versions have a bow. Here is the one with like the bell sleeves and they made the skirt longer. I almost feel like this bottom piece is this, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what's happening. Um, but you know, like a wrap dress with a, a different hem. It's like curved or something, right? Okay. Yeah. Cause here's a straight hem. And then you have these just like wide sleeves, again with the bow. This is obviously my favorite version. I would also make it sleeveless. Um, I, I do like this little curved hem though, that's cute. Yeah, that's fun. Kind of nothing super special. I mean the high waistband, although, is a little bit interesting. I don't know that I see a lot of wraps with that. So wrap front tops and dresses are loose fitting in the bust and fastened with hook and eye at midriff with forward shoulder seam neck facing and sleeve length variations. So you almost like button yourself into it. It's not an actual tie at all. Obviously doesn't, the, the straps don't wrap around your body. And then C is uh, purchased by his tape and binding or you can make your own. Okay, here is another little dress. This one, wow, okay. I gotta get into this one too. So we have kind of a lower cross on the wrap of this one. I still think we have some under chest gathers, maybe a gathered sleeve. And then are there like little ruffles all throughout? Because yes. Okay, so here's, I guess, a basic version. You have this little interesting panel detail, and then all those gathers I was telling you about. There it is with three contrast fabrics, which actually I love. I mean, if you couldn't, probably if you have access to like, you know, large fabric stores, I don't know that you'd be able to put this together at a Joanne, for example, but more power to you. And you gotta wonder about scale. So you have to, you know, you can't have three big, bold prints I mean, you could, but I'm just saying for the most 
pleasing to the eye. You want to kind of vary the the uh, size of the patterns, but keep a keep a similar color tone throughout, like they've done here. Okay, yeah, here it is with a little ruffle. I kind of like that. I don't know why. It feels like something I shouldn't like, but I do. I like it very much. <laughs> um, and you even have some ruffles all around the back and other places. I like this. Dresses have fitted lined bodice with invisible side zipper, raised shaped waistline, love that, and sleeve and skirt variations. There's an elasticated, or sorry, elasticized sleeve. Let's look at some line drawings. Yeah, so there's our side zipper. We have gathers on the front, but darts in the back of this version. Well, maybe all of the bodices have that. Yep, and then there is our ruffly one with a side slit, or I should say an off-center slit, thigh slit, whatever. And then here's another version where you can add length to it and make it more ruffly on the bottom, which that's a little much to me. But I love this version. I would even want to put a ruffle here, though. wonder why we didn't do that. But that's an easy enough addition. You could draft that yourself, no problem. I'm intrigued. That's what I have to say about this. I'm intrigued. They are suggesting crepe, Georgette, crepe de chine, chiffon. Yeah, all these like lightweight, flowy fabrics. Um, you could make A out of a lot of different things, especially without the sleeve. Um, but any of these with the little ruffle detail, yeah, you would want to make sure that's flowy and drapey. I think it's cute. Next up, this looks like a knit dress from Nancy Zeman. A little low here. A fitted knit wrap dress have sleeve and length variations. Okay. So the first option is a elbow length sleeve, kind of a, I don't know, an angled hem. Here's a more of a straight hem with three quarter length sleeves. And yeah, that's it. Pretty straightforward stuff there. This feels like I made a dress like this. I think it was a craftsy kit even. I don't remember what pattern it was, but it had this like band and everything. I loved it. It was like navy blue. And then this was like maybe orange. And then this was turquoise or something. I don't know. It was very early on. But I did wear it out. Like wear it to where it couldn't be worn anymore. I wore it a lot. The fabric didn't end up washing very well. Anyways. Okay. Now we've got a Nicole Miller. So maybe this is the inspiration that that other dress took, you know, like with all these little romanticized ruffles and stuff. Dress is fitted through bust and fully self-lined with invisible back zipper and hook and eye. That version's nice. Oh, that's the same. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, mama. Yeah, there's just the one version. Eh, I don't know. Feels a little nightgowny, right? And like this deep V, I don't know about that either. I usually like Nicole Miller stuff. Here's an archive one, which we're going to skip over. David to Tara. So this is going to be like a, you know, cocktail party, evening gown type thing. Prom. Very prom. 
Dresses have close fitting lined and interfaced bodices with overlays and full pleated skirts with side seam pockets and purchased horse hair trim and hem. Sweetheart neckline, boning, center back invisible zipper. I mean, yeah, these are going to be well constructed. Look how pretty that is. I literally have nowhere to wear this. But if you do, I really like this version. This reminds me of my favorite. Um, I think it was Butterick. Remember the navy and cream striped dress? That's what that reminds me of. These are all so pretty. I want to go to prom. Look, a little shoulder bow thing. That could be every day. I don't like the asymmetrical though. Yep. Very nice. Are you guys making things for prom or maybe even in a wedding dress? That would be a pretty wedding dress, UB. Look how pretty. Oh, I want one. I want one and I want somewhere to go in it. <laughs> okay, here's another like prom type gown. Um, this one is a Create It, which I actually have a couple of these and I really love it. It actually, um, each pattern piece is separate and they're intended to like mix and match. So, oh, they're not showing it that way here. But, um, but basically you have like a bodice, you have upper bodice, you have a midriff and you have a skirt and you can pick and choose between all the different versions and mix and match them. So you can come up with a lot of creative, a lot of different versions, even though you're using the same pattern. I love that one. I would wear that to Target. That's my new, you know, my new measuring tool. Like <laughs> if I would wear it to Target, then I should make it. Um, I'm not like going to an office. I'm not like, I don't know, doing super special occasion type stuff. So I really have to like make sure that what I make is wearable like in everyday life. So that's why I'm like, would you wear it to Target? And I totally would wear that to Target right before I go to like brunch or something. Here's another one. Cute. Very nice. Fully lined with interfaced bodice and midriff. Um... Boning, invisible back zipper, hook and eye, bodice and skirt variations. Includes options for gathered bodice and midriff overlays. So I think what you end up doing is you make every bodice looks like this that's interfaced. Um, and then you can add this like gathery overlay over top of it. I think that's what's happening. Wait, how did I miss these pictures? I think that's so cute. Yeah, and the side is like, hello, peekaboo. Here's some views of the back. I love that they made multiple views. Thank you so much for that. It is a little short. That's adorable. I love that. I don't have any need for this skirt, but I would make this one in a heartbeat. Now we have a cute little top. This one looks like, okay, loose fitting, I'm sure it pulls over, drop shoulder. They're really loving this type of sleeve right now. It's a little on the short side. Maybe she, I'm sure she's very tall though. So here's another version. <laughs> very kind of collegiate with the fabric choices there. Here's another one. I kind of like this elastic here. That's cool. Yeah, cute, simple, straightforward little top. Lots of different options. I don't really do well with the contrast, but you know, maybe you could get creative and do something really fun with this, even if it were like a sheer or something like that but I really dig this one too. Cute. Okay, we've got another little top here. 
like a squared off neckline, some shoulder ruffleage, which I like, gathered sleeve, some really nice shaping and darting. You can tell it's really fitted. Um, almost like, like Little House on the Prairie, kind of. <laughs> Here's the crop top. Well, now we've added ruffles everywhere and added poofy sleeves for that extra Little House on the Prairie touch. Let's see the back. Back darts, very nice. And that's all they're gonna give us, okay. Fitted button up tops have neck and front facings. Okay. Length and sleeve variations. Oh, separate um, cup sizes too, which is nice. So yeah, there you go. I don't know that I love this style very much in general, but I think that there are people out there that I follow like on Instagram and stuff that could make really adorable versions of this. Even if you made this um, with a matching skirt to wear like, you know, your belly wasn't really showing, that would be really, I think I can see people making that and it being cute. Um, I also can see myself making this without the sleeves and maybe that would be better. I don't know. It's not like jumping out at me though is one of those ones I have to have. Much like this. Okay, so now we've got, this just feels really young. I mean, also the model looks really young, so that doesn't help, but you can see we've got these like exaggerated puffy sleeves with elastic. We've got the shearing going on at the at the Empire waist. Um, you can even see the facing there because they use such lightweight fabric. But this feels like early 2000s, right? Is this like high school for me or what? That's cute. Yeah, it's just a uh, sweet, you know, it's just a sweet top. So if you're going for a sweet, you know, demure, innocent look, that's what I'm getting from all of these. But this one here, I feel like I could see that in a loft somewhere, like an Ann Taylor loft type of garment. Let's see. Um, cotton blends, lawn, crepe, and gingham. Yeah. You have to have something that'll hold up to all that shearing. Okay. Next up, this is a little bit more my style. We have these tops with elasticated shoulders, the little loops for the buttons instead of buttonholes. Uh, maybe some darts going on there. I do. I love this sleeve bodice. I, this, all of this. I love all of this. I don't really love the color, but the um, proportions and everything it's giving off, I really like, and it has to be comfortable. Yeah. So we've got some darts there. Oh, there it is with a flutter sleeve. That's cute. And then this is a longer sleeve with elastic. Yeah. I like all of those. See the girl, she looks older here, right? Yeah, and I mean, you could just add, I don't know, eight inches to the bottom of this and now you have a dress. You know what I mean? Like they could have easily made that into a dress too. Or you can just lengthen, shorten line, add, I think maybe eight, seven, eight inches, something like that. And you'd have a dress, yay. Cute, love that one. I would make all of those versions. Yeah, I think the fabrics are pretty much, they run the gamut. Cotton blends, chalet, lawn, chambray. You could make it out of just about anything. Cool, okay, so we're gonna skip the little girl's stuff and continue right along with this little top. Okay, so we have, what do we have here? Some cutouts? Some gathers, some ruffles, kind of a lot of everything. Okay, 
I don't hate it. I, hmm, that's cute. I think fabric choice is paramount. They did a good job with theirs. Oh, look at the dress version with all those layers of ruffles. I actually think I like that. And then there it is. Wait, 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 wait. This is just a top? I'm confused. This is just a top. So this is a skirt that must be a different pattern. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, this is just the pattern for the top. Even though they're showing pictures of it make it look like a dress. That's so mean. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, fabric choice is critical. I think you have to find something with the light, the right kind of weight to it and the right amount of drape. Probably something polyester or, you know, something in that family. But here are all the line drawing versions. I don't like this sleeve. So crepe de chine, charmeuse, georgette, chiffon. Yeah, all of those little fiddly fabrics that are real annoying to sew. Um, and of course, with this, you know you have like a gajillion baby hems. Like all of these ruffles are baby hems. So have fun with that. <laughs> it would be worth it though in the end. I think you'd have a really special top. Okay, here's Palmer plush for spring. So these are the ones that have all of the different um, fitting adjustments uh, printed onto the pattern pieces. So if you need to make a full bust adjustment or forward shoulder adjustment or whatever, they are all the little lines that you would normally have to measure yourself are all already on there. So they also use the tissue fitting method. So they walk you through how to do that. Um, so yeah. But we've got a button down with kind of like a wide or like flared, you know, hem here. This is an asymmetrical hem. This is cute, asymmetrical with a ruffle. Or I don't know how, I guess just contrast bands. So they tucked her in in the front and rolled up her sleeves. Okay. Loose fitting shirt has button front opening with separate placket collar with neck band and linked in sleeve variations. Two part sleeve on this, which is nice. Two piece sleeve. Poplin, cotton blends, crepe de chine, gingham. Yeah, it's okay. I don't have enough basic um, button downs. So having one with all these frills just feels like I would skip a step if I made those instead of making like a, a traditional one first. But I do like the ruffly one. Okay, here's that skirt that they paired with the uh, M7903. It is... Semi-fitted skirt, invisible back zipper with hook and eye, and length variations. A has contrast flounces. So this is a no for me. I just can't imagine having a something drawing more attention to the widest part of me. You know? I mean, it looks great on her, but she also doesn't have much of, like, many curves. Especially there. I do not want a ruffle there. <laughs> I do not want to ruffle there, but I did like it paired with that other top. That was smart. It made it look like a dress. I still, I don't know. Still, I'm feeling like, you know, you got to be really careful about your fabric choices. And, you know, have a lot of time set aside to uh, make all those baby hems. Yeah. Plus, I think I decided this summer that I don't really like making skirts just in general any skirt I don't really like making them I don't really like wearing them I don't know why I think I'd just rather make a dress like why have something you have to like 
think about what you're going to pair with it, like what you're, like what kind of top you're going to wear when you could just make a whole dress and you have your whole outfit ready to go. You don't have to think about anything. <laughs> I don't know. Am I alone? <laughs> okay, so here's a button down skirt. Very full pleated skirts are worn two inches above the waist. So high waisted. Button front, front and back facings, deep hem, and length and carrier variations. Okay. This is a cool skirt, especially that one. I love that one. I love the wider carriers and the self belt. It does feel very spring and summer to me. I also really like the pleats and how the pleats are sewn down here at the top. I say all this about skirts and then I'm like, wow, I actually kind of really like this skirt. That's what I get. It's just the story of my life. So pretty stable wovens, I'm assuming. Yeah, sateen, chino, cotton blends, and even twill. I just kind of think that would be fun to sew. I like that one, 7906. Okay, now we've got, oh God, cargo pants. I'm actually not feeling great about the next four. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Pleated front, wide waistband. Some kind of seam here, side seam pockets, I guess. Then there's these huge pockets on the side. Oh, and then gathered cuffs. Here's the only one that I think would be remotely flattering on 98 of you that are watching, 98% of you that are watching this video. <laughs> Just regular pants. Yeah, I'm just like, who does that look good on? I think they're even like tapered. I think this bottom part is tapered. That's weird. Yeah, that's fun. I don't know, guys. Chino, twill, wool blends, denim. Wool blends? I mean, maybe only in this version. We should do a challenge where we all vote on the worst pattern in a collection and then we all have to make it and try and make it the best we possibly can. Would y'all be down for that or would y'all just want me to be your guinea pig and like y'all pick a pattern for me and then I have to make it and try and make it look good? <laughs> would y'all participate or would you just throw me to the fire? Okay. We've got a jumpsuit and I think that this is a denim jumpsuit and the only only reason why I'm not immediately like ew is because earlier this week on the Ellen DeGeneres show Sandra Bullock who is like 54 years old wore a fitted denim jumpsuit and she looked like a million bucks. Um, so now that I see this I'm like well obviously I need my own denim jumpsuit so I can be just like Sandra Bullock. Um, but this one has a front exposed zipper. It has princess seams that go into the, I like how the um, stitching details kind of carry through to this like patch pocket. I don't think it's technically a patch pocket though. I think it's just top stitched. Um, you've got this cute little collar, little sleeve, you know, semi flared leg, or you can make it into a romper with little pockets. Yeah, very camo-y. Military inspired. 70s vibe. The fit on her is impeccable, I'll say. Oh no. And then they go put this itty bitty teeny tiny pocket up on her high hip. I don't know about that, folks. That looks weird. And also, what do you put in there? So there we go, jumpsuits. 
the top stitching was so great on all those. We really already saw the line drawings. Look at that. Why? That's so weird. <laughs> Give me a full-size pocket for a full-size bum, please. Um, denim, twill chino, or linen. I could see it in linen. If I made it in linen, though, I might try and move that front zipper. It's cute in the denim one because it feels very utilitarian, you know, and very, like, like the denim substantial. So having a substantial ex exposed zipper makes sense. But in linen, I don't know. I might try and move it to the side. Okay. Now we have a custom cup sizes pattern, which I really love. And I know a lot of you out there really love it, too, especially if you're um, curvier in the top um, and typically need full bust adjustments or if you're smaller in the top and typically need small bust adjustments these are great for you um, very tropical actually despite this super deep V I actually think I like this the coloring is gorgeous on her skin tone and then we've got this like you know, bell. Oh God, it gets better. Now we've got this version <laughs> with the ruffles here. Look at this next one. It's like a bib. That is so interesting. What does that look like sewn up? I need like, I need the photos to be of that and not of this. This here though, those stripes, I don't know. Look, they all turn. So maybe this doesn't fit her that well. I don't know what that means. This looks great on her though. Cute. Yeah, see these stripes are straight. They would never be straight on me. I do like this. That's nice. I like that a lot. Okay, so there we are. Those are all of them. So this is the one the, in the pink tropical fabric. It looks really different in the line drawing, doesn't it? I love it. Now all this with the ruffles, I mean, maybe, maybe this ruffle, but not this, but maybe, I don't know. Ruffle, pant hem, maybe. And then this is this version without the sleeve, which I also really like. I don't know why you need to go through the trouble of doing this separate piece though. I would just use the same pants from here or, you know, or just extend it down to get the same length. But I don't know why you have to do a, um, a separate seam there. That seems fussy. Um, let's see what cotton blend, lawn, crepe de chine, and then lining fabrics. So yeah, I mean, obviously you need something lightweight and drapey, but still substantial enough to hold up to like covering your bum and your lumps and bumps. They did a good job with this fabric. I wish I knew what that was, like what the makeup of that was. But only the bodice is lined. So maybe this is some kind of like crepe or something poly crepe even. I don't know. You have to be careful that it's not see-through and, you know, I mean, obviously I guess you could just line the pants too, but yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out for some fabrics that I think would work for that one. Cause I do really like it. Okay. Now we've got another creative pattern. This one is maybe like a new year's. You could do this for new year's for sure. Look at that. That's pretty. If only my legs were really that long. Here's another version. You've got your one shoulder. Mm -hmm. What's the back? Oh, there's the back. Okay. So you've just got the same well, these are the same bodice, tapered legs, 
pants with a side slit, regular pants, and then two other bodice versions. But I mean, the backs don't have any darts or anything, so. Is it made for knit? Yeah, close fitting pull on knit jumpsuits have lined bodice with bodice and leg variations. And I think when they say knit, they're not talking about like um, sweater knits. Like in that, what was it simplicity that had the sweater knit jumpsuit? I think they just mean like stretch fabrics. You know, like even the um, fabric that I used for my jumpsuit for the holiday sew along, that was technically a stretch um, crepe back satin. But, you know, they have all of these like sequin fabrics that have stretch in them. They have, I guess that's what all these novelty knits really are. And I mean, even velveteen, you know, is stretch. Jersey and interlock though, me, eh, I don't know about that. Okay, nearing the end, we've got this number. Mrs. Tops and Pants. She is really selling this, <laughs> even though I feel like she probably doesn't really like it that much. It's just very, it's like loose fitting on top of loose fitting. You know, there's like no shaping to her body going on here. So that's, that's a hard sell. Nicole Miller. I don't like either of the Nicole Miller patterns this time. Yeah, no thanks. I just, yeah, I want to like it, but not for me. I don't like these shoulder so big and exaggerated, you know. Even, I'm trying to imagine, like, even this top with jeans or, like, leggings or something, like, close fitting, I'm just, or... Still not feeling it. And the pants with like a regular top, like I'm not feeling that either. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, here's a robe. Jacket, vest, and belt. Okay. Very robe-like though. Okay. Ooh. That's cute if it's a dress. Okay, I get it, cute. Yep. Yeah, I like all these. I love the shawl collar and the, you know, big belt. Even this drop shoulder sleeve thing I like. This, I gotta figure out how to make a dress. You know, just put a little button in there and it becomes a dress. Uh, maybe a little bit longer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's adorable as a dress. Um, yeah, super cool. And legitimately, you could make a robe out of this. Like, I was kind of kidding, but the style lines are the same. Wool coatings, boucle, tweed, and wool blends. So cute. Love this. Wind in your hair, too. Loose fitting jackets and vests are unlined with dropped shoulder tie belt with thread carriers and collar length and sleeve variations. I don't see many collar variations, do you? Let's go back to the line art. I mean, are those different? Yeah, I guess they are. So this collar versus this collar, I don't really know the difference. Okay. Then we have his and her vests. Quilted, cute. Is it like unisex? Yeah, I guess it's unisex. Ooh. That's a little big. 
I'm assuming they're having you um, buy the fabric already quilted. Pre-quilted fabrics. Okay. Oh no, there's a typo. Linig fabrics. Okay. Excellent. Then you've got a little bag and then some more period pieces. So yeah, that is going to do it for the McCall's early spring. Let's just flip through the lookbook, make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, all in all, I feel like there's a fair amount of hits and a fair amount of misses. But there are definitely some that I will be adding to my stash. Um, I loved this one so much. What did you guys think? How did you feel the collection looked? Will you be buying any of these? Which ones? Are you sewing for prom? Let me know in the description box or in the comments, you can't add to the description box, only I can, but you can add to the comments. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and which ones um, you'll be buying and try to not reference just the item number, but also the, like some kind of detail, like, you know, the pink tropical jumpsuit one or whatever. Um, but yeah, so fun. I don't know how many more early springs are going to come out. I don't know if Butterick um, I don't think Vogue will, uh, new look. I'm not sure, but, um, I'll stay on top of them. And if you guys see them, be sure to, um, if you see like McCall's making an announcement or something, be sure to tag me so that in case I missed it, um, I wouldn't have missed it because you guys helped. <laughs> um, okay. So that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.